So you return again to produce on um, on Charlotte Gnomes. Yep. What, what what is it about this series that makes you keep coming back? I think because you can change it up. I think the first the first movie was you know taking the greatest love story and then ripping it off with these ridiculous garden gnomes, and that seemed to work. And so it was like, oh, okay. People respond to that concept, so we can do it with lots of different stories. So with this, we thought, okay, well, what different genre can we can we work in? Let's not just do a, a romantic comedy again. Let's go and do a action detective movie. And okay, we do that. Then who should be the star? Well, it's got, it's got to be Sherlock Holmes. So that's that's kind of what I like about it is because you can adapt the stories, the characters to any kind of genre. You could do a space movie, you know, you could do a cowboy movie and call it Gnome Ranger, you know, you could, do, you could do any of those things and you can put the characters into different types of stories. That's what I liked about it. And um, how much of an influence was any of the Sherlock Holmes novels for the film? Um, it, overall, I mean, the different characters have been portrayed so many different ways. Um, and there's so many stories. We didn't refer to anyone in particular, but I think what John, the director, was very keen and smart about doing was making sure that the integrity of the character matched up to any of the best variations of Sherlock that were made before. So it's not trying to copy any of them, but it takes um, the, the kind of the essence of Sherlock that moves through all the different incarnations and takes it to a new place, just happens to be in a gnome. You know, so. <laughs> and you also got quite a great cast on this one as well. And especially you have James coming back and Emily as well. I mean, how much of a challenge is it to get that, that kind of calibre of cast together? Uh, no, in, the, the guys from the first movie were incredible and they all wanted to come back and, and, and do it again. And so you know, James, Emily, Stephen, Matt, Ashley, you know, Michael, Maggie, they've all come back. It's been fantastic. And it was great to add you know, a couple of new ideas in there as well um, with our gnomes from the kind of detective genre. So, um, you know, to have Johnny come and, and play Sherlock was, was great. And he gives everything, you know, his quintessential kind of twist. Chiwetel was wonderful as, uh, as Watson. And, and Mary J coming in and uh, you know performing a great song for us and being Irene. It was all, yeah, it was great. How important is it as well that we've got Elton back composing some new songs for it? Oh, it's, it, it's very important. You know, the those those big numbers that help kind of lift the story in the in the first movie, filled with emotion, filled with a lot of recognizability for the audience. So they immediately tune into that and it lifts them. He's a great, it's a great part of the um, of, of what we're doing with the sequel, and uh, yeah, I think he's very proud of the movie. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 